Hello, Dr Blue here and welcome to part two of the Doctor Who quiz. If you missed part one, fear not, you can catch up in the video that's mentioned somewhere up there. Uh, but basically I answered the easy round of questions from the SFX Ultimate Sci-Fi quiz book and before I answered them myself I posted all the questions in a picture on the screen and gave you the chance to answer them yourselves. In this part we'll be doing the hard round of questions uh, so I dread to think how badly I'm going to do considering I didn't get that many in the easy round but we'll see. Um, and yeah same, same thing again I'll post a picture showing all 20 questions for you to pause and answer yourself and then Finally, at the end of this video, I'll tally up what I got. I hope you enjoy. All the questions should be on the screen now, so feel free to pause the video if you're taking part and answer the questions and then you can compare your answers to the ones that I'm about to give. Okay, question one. Which doctor said just after his regeneration, I've been renewed, it's part of the TARDIS. Without it, I couldn't survive. That's annoying I don't know that one because I thought I was quite well versed in like the doctor's regenerations and their first lines and their last lines. I don't think it's any new series, New Who Doctors, so that rules out Doctors 9 onwards. I'm going to guess the fourth Doctor. Question 2. How did a Radio Times Doctor Who cover mark the 2010 general election? Oh, I'm not familiar with this. Um, some gag about voting Saxon, maybe? Maybe having the Harold Saxon master on the front, that's what I'm going to say. Question three, how many episodes of the programme are missing? I don't know the exact number, but I'm drawn to 97. I feel like I've read that somewhere recently. Um, question four, which actor and ballet dancer played Shara's Jek in the Caves of Androzani? I've seen this story before, but I don't really pay attention to the actors, so I'm going to have to pass. Question 5. The cover of which Marvel comic inspired Chris Archilios' artwork on his Target cover for The Three Doctors? Hmm. I don't know. Is that a surprise at this point? The Avengers, because that's also a team-up. Question 6. Name the Glasgow art punk band that featured Peter Capaldi. Oh, I've heard this before. Um, I knew he was part of a band and I read what the name was. I want to say the Sex Pistols, but they're already a band, aren't they? I'm going to have to pass. Otherwise I'll be sat here all day trying to work it out. Question 7. What was the name of the man who Sarah Jane nearly married in the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith? Here we go. This is one that I should hopefully be able to answer. It's one of my, if not my favourite, Sarah Jane Adventures episodes, so I better get this right. Uh, Peter Dalton is what I'm going for. Question 8. Who wrote Season 8 story In the Forest of the Night? Oh, God, are you really asking about that awful episode? Um, Frank Cottrell Boyce. Question 9. Which Doctor Who actor, who played a companion, wrote to Starburst in 1982 complaining about being insulted by a reader? I think it might be whoever played Adric, and I think his name is Matthew Waterhouse. 1982, that was when Peter Davison was the Doctor. Adric was quite a controversial character. I think that makes sense. Question 10. At which annual festival did Toby Haddock first perform his Moths Ate My Doctor Who Scarf comedy show? Edinburgh Fringe Festival, maybe? That's, it popped into my head. 
Question 11. Who is Peter Capaldi credited as in the 2013 film World War Z? Who, Doctor? Um, I know that because it's a cool fact. And, yeah, no, I just... I, I've yet to see World War Z, but obviously that came out at the same time Peter Capaldi was announced as the Doctor. And so I was trying to find out as much as possible about him. And someone alerted me to that interesting fact. Question 12. Who played Gantok under the pseudonym, under a pseudonym, in The Wedding of River Song? Mark Gatiss, in one of his many roles in the show. Question 13. Which William Hartnell story had an episode entitled War of God? That's annoying because I've been watching quite a lot of The First Doctor recently, so um, I should know this, but obviously I haven't been watching enough of them. It's not anything from season one, as far as I'm aware. I'm going to guess the Romans. Question 14. Big Finish Audio Spare Parts tells the origin of which popular Doctor Who monster? The Cybermen. I've got it downloaded on my phone. And I've yet to listen to it, but I'll get there eventually. I've heard it's really good. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to listening to that. Question 15. Who said of his time on the show... My face didn't fit, and I'm sure they were glad to see the back of me. Pretty sure that's Christopher Eccleston. Um, we all know about the controversy surrounding him leaving the show, and it seems like something he would say, to be fair. So I'll go with that. Question 16. In The Impossible Astronaut, what's the name of the Laurel and Hardy film that the Doctor interlopes in? Oh, I don't know. It's just Laurel and Hardy. Um, pass. No idea for that. Question 17. 1987 video Wartime features which former Doctor Who character from the 70s? Sarah Jane Smith, as a guess? Nope, no, I'm going to change it to the Brigadier. Question 18. Which veteran monsters from a second Doctor story make a cameo in 10th Doctor episode Gridlock? The Macra. Question 19. Who voiced the Fisher King in Before the Flood? I do know this, except not right now I don't. Um, it's a, it's the guy who voiced Darth Maul in Star Wars and his name escapes me. I'm going to have to pass. And finally, question 20. Which British comedy stalwart played the chief caretaker in Seventh Doctor Story, Paradise Towers? Oh, I don't know. No, pass again. Oh dear, terrible round that was. Um, okay, let's see what the answers were. So the answer to question one was the second Doctor. Oh, of course it was. Oh, typical. I recognise it only now, having been given the answer. Question two, the answer was three covers featuring three different coloured Daleks, blue, red and yellow. Question three, the answer was 97, get in, that's also the year of my birth, which I would say is lucky, but is it really lucky that we've got so many Doctor Who episodes missing? Not really. <laughs> Question four, the answer was Christopher Gable. Question five, the answer was Fantastic Four. And it says in brackets, Galactus. Question six, the Dream Boys was the name of the band that Peter Capaldi was in. Oh uh, yeah, again, it's coming back to me now. Question seven, Peter Dalton. Yep, yeah, I was right with that. Question eight, Frank Cottrell Boyce. Question nine, Matthew Waterhouse Adric. Thank God that was a logical guess on my part. Question 10, oh wow, the answer was Edinburgh Fringe. Again, a guess. Uh, that's the only festival I know about, really, besides like music festivals. Um, wow, I'm glad I got that. Question 11, who doctor? Question 12, the answer was Mark Gatiss. Oh, quite a few I'm getting right now. Question 13, oh, spoke too soon. The answer was The Massacre. Question 14, the answer was The Cybermen. Question 15, Christopher Eccleston. Yep, yeah, makes sense that he said that. Question 16, 
the flying deuces. I'll be surprised if you guys knew the answer to that one. Question 17, Sergeant Benton. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, it makes sense that it has to be some military character, but I thought the Brigadier was a good bet. Question 18, the Macra. Question 19, yeah, again, having now read the name, it's coming back to me. The answer was Peter Serafinowitz. Really bad pronunciation of that. And finally, question 20, the answer was Richard Briars. So there we go. Um, oh, haven't actually tallied up my score yet. Should probably do that before slagging myself off, saying how bad I am. Although, I think we've established that now, at how many I've got wrong. So I got Peter Dalton, Frank Cotswold Boyce, Adric, Fringe, Who Doctor, Gatiss, Cybermen, Chris Eccleston, Macra, and that's it. Okay, 9 out of 10 isn't so bad um, for the hard round. And what was it I got in easy round? I think that was 14. So 14 plus 9 is 23 out of a possible 40, which is barely over half. So, it's not looking good, is it? <laughs> um, I mean, I did quite well to get just under half the marks in the hard round, but to get not even three quarters for the easy round um, is very disappointing. I mean, I could say my excuse is that I still haven't seen much of Classic Who, but even then, I think there was quite a few revival series questions on there that I just got wrong um, and just threw blanks at. Yeah. So, 23. That is the score to beat. Uh, please do let me know in the comments down below what you guys got, if you took part as well. I'd love to see how your answers compare with mine. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and I might do more quizzes in the future. I might do online quizzes or find more books like this one. Subscribe if you're new here. Follow me on Twitter as well at the blue doctor all with underscores in between each word um and that's it thank you very much for watching i shall see you guys next time